Imagine discovering something in the depths of the ocean that looks like something out of an ancient mythology. Do you believe these discoveries could be real? Here's a map displaying Taiwan, a captivating island located in East Asia. It boasts a strategic position in the Western Pacific Ocean and offers a rich cultural heritage and stunning landscapes. Taiwan has a population of over 23 million people, making it a vibrant and diverse destination. Taiwan is nestled on a remarkable island of incredible and astonishing discoveries that continue to amaze scientists even now. These discoveries are so amazing that if they were not talked about, no one would believe them. So in this video, we will unveil five recently made discoveries that scientists found in Taiwan, which have completely surprised, shocked, intrigued, and terrified the world. Let's dive into the first discovery, the ancient civilization of tiny people. Imagine stumbling upon a secret so ancient and so profound that it rewrites the history of an entire island. In Taiwan, researchers have done just that, uncovering the remnants of a civilization lost to time. Today's exploration dives into the fascinating discovery of 6,000-year-old Negrito burns in Taiwan, shedding light on a pre-Austronesian hunter-gatherer population that once thrived on this captivating island. Taiwan's strategic position in East Asia has always made it a nexus of cultural and genetic diversity. This discovery adds a new layer to our understanding of its ancient inhabitants. The Negritos, traditionally known as small, dark-skinned people, have primarily been associated with regions like the Philippines, the Malay Peninsula, and the Andaman Islands. This discovery in Taiwan indicates a much wider historical spread. So what's the actual discovery? In a cave in southeastern Taiwan, an international team of archaeologists unearthed these ancient bones. The skeletal remains included skulls and femur bones. Analysis revealed that these bones belonged to the Negritos. The skull structure closely resembled other Negrito skulls, while the femur bones suggested a stature of just under 5 feet tall. These findings suggest that a hunter-gatherer population existed in Taiwan thousands of years before the arrival of the Austronesian people, who are the ancestors of modern indigenous groups. The disappearance of the Negritos from Taiwan raises intriguing questions. Was it due to their inability to adapt to a changing environment, or were there conflicts with later populations? Another interesting discovery is the Goblin Shark Discovery. Imagine pulling up a creature from the depths of the ocean that looks like it swam out of ancient mythology. That's exactly what happened off the coast of Taiwan, where local fishermen were stunned to find a living relic, a goblin shark. The fishermen, expecting typical catch, were amazed to find a large goblin shark in their nets. This shark, known for its peculiar, elongated snout and sharp teeth, is a rare sight in any part of the world. Adding to the rarity of this find was the fact that the shark was pregnant. The discovery of a pregnant goblin shark, a deep-sea species, is a significant event for marine biologists, offering a unique opportunity to study this elusive creature's reproductive biology. Instead of ending up in the market, this remarkable specimen found a new home. It was taken to the Taiwan Ocean Artistic Museum, where it drew the attention of both the public and the scientific community, eager to learn more about this mysterious deep-sea dweller. The shark's display sparked conversations about marine conservation and the importance of preserving such rare species. It served as an educational tool, raising awareness about the diversity of life lurking in the ocean's depths. Let's move on to the discovery of the mysterious structures on Google Earth. The Taiwanese government has made a peculiar request to Google Earth to blur images of enigmatic structures found near Aitu Aba Island in the South China Sea. Initially, these structures were spotted by users browsing through Google Earth, sparking curiosity due to their secretive nature. The exact purpose of these structures remained unknown, leading to a flurry of online speculation and debate. The Taiwanese government's request to Google for blurring these images added an air of mystery to the situation. This action raised questions about the nature of these structures, with theories ranging from military installations to surveillance facilities given the strategic importance of the South China Sea. A two Aba Island, a small but geopolitically significant area, is subject to territorial claims by several nations. The presence of these structures and Taiwan's subsequent censorship request underscores the delicate balance of power in the region. The next part is about the tragic tale of comfort women. 
let's talk about a dark chapter of Taiwan's history during World War II. The story of comfort women. These were women and girls forced into sexual slavery by the Imperial Japanese Army, a painful legacy that remains a sensitive and poignant topic in Taiwan's history. The lives of these women, many of whom were just girls when they were forcibly taken or deceived into serving at comfort stations. Here, they endured repeated abuse and violation, an experience that left deep physical and emotional scars. This tragedy was not isolated to Taiwan, but was part of a broader strategy of the Japanese military during the war. Women across occupied territories in Asia were subjected to similar fates, creating a legacy of suffering shared by many nations. After the war, the survivors, returning to a society that often stigmatized them, bore their trauma in silence. The societal norms and the shame associated with their ordeal made it difficult for many to seek help or speak out. The narrative then shifts to the efforts of survivors and advocates who have been fighting for recognition and reparations. These efforts include seeking apologies from the Japanese government and raising global awareness about the atrocities committed. By underscoring the importance of acknowledging this dark chapter in history, it's a call to honor the memory and the struggles of these women and to ensure that their stories are not forgotten. Our final discovery is discovery of an 85,000-year-old whale fossil in southern Taiwan's jungle. In southern Taiwan's dense jungle, a team of archaeologists made a groundbreaking discovery that sheds new light on the region's ancient past. They unearthed an 85,000-year-old whale fossil, a find that is as rare as it is remarkable. The fossil, discovered during what seemed to be a routine excavation, turned out to be nearly complete, measuring an impressive 50 feet in length. This discovery has not only excited the scientific community, but also captured the imagination of the public. The fossil included significant parts such as vertebra, shoulder blades, parts of the skull, and a notably large jawbone. The jawbone alone, weighing over 730 pounds, posed a considerable challenge for the team requiring 12 people to carry it out of the jungle over a grueling seven-hour journey. The significance of this find cannot be overstated. It offers a rare window into the prehistoric marine ecosystem of the region, providing valuable insights into the types of creatures that inhabited these waters thousands of years ago. The fact that this fossil is nearly 70% complete makes it an especially valuable find for paleontologists, offering a nearly complete picture of this ancient marine giant. We hope you found these facts intriguing. If you've heard them before or have any thoughts to share, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to A World to Discover to join us on our journey of discovery.